We are outside the Democrat National Convention here in Chicago, where top party officials are meeting and are set to ceremonially crown their presidential ticket. Technically, Kamala Harris and Tim Walls are already the party's nominee. That took place earlier this month in a virtual roll call, which was done in order to avoid any potential ballot access issues, particularly in Ohio. And typically, that is done officially at the party convention, but this time they opted to do it separately. But there still will be a ceremonial roll call and acceptance of the nomination by Kamala Harris and by uh, Tim Walls. Now, Chicago is infamous for the 1968 Democrat National Convention, which was subject to a lot of riots amid unrest over the Vietnam War. Democrats later returned to Chicago for their convention in 1996. But there is a bit of unrest heading into this convention here in Chicago this time around, namely over the divisions within the Democrat Party over the Israel-Hamas war. And in fact, just heading over here to film this shot, we ran into a bunch of pro-Palestinian protesters, thousands of them, and several of them, hundreds of them, had ripped through fencing that surrounds this United Center where the big speeches of the night are going to take place each day this week of the convention. And so officers dressed in riot gear were forced to push them back. And there was almost like a game of chicken going on where the officers would push the protesters back and then the protesters would keep knocking down fences and trying to get through. And we saw almost half a dozen um, individuals be detained by law enforcement. I assume that number is a bit higher now. And we're expecting a lot more of those sorts of things to take place throughout the week. Now, on day one, this convention is set to pay tribute to President Biden, who just a month ago was supposed to be the nominee. He was projected to be. He already had the delegates needed. So it was just a matter of having votes. But amid party pressure, he dropped out and passed the baton to Vice President Kamala Harris, who is already the nominee at this point. We're also going to hear from other prominent Democrats, including Hillary Clinton, former President Bill Clinton, former President Barack Obama, former First Lady Michelle Obama, Kathy Hochul, AOC. There's a whole assortment of prominent Democrats that we're going to hear from throughout this week. And uh, this is a big week for Democrats. Ultimately, a lot of Democrats feel that they have a bit more momentum on their side than they did just a month ago before Biden dropped out. And now they're feeling a little bit better about their chances. So they're hoping that they can keep up that momentum. The polls are showing a big tightening of the race between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. So we'll see if that continues. And Trump and Republicans are set to have a bunch of counter events throughout the week, including here in Chicago and in key battleground states across the country where Trump and Vance will hold rallies and other kinds of events. So big week overall.